30. Which of the following compounds precipitates from a solution that has the concentrations indicated? And then see Appendix J for the KSB values. So in this case, we have the solid K2P2Cl6. They told us that the potassium ion concentration is 0.01 molarity, and this complex ion, the PTCl6 2 minus, is a 0.01 molarity. We want to know if this compound will form a precipitate, meaning will there be any leftover solid in our solution? Now, in order to find that out, all we have to do is compare a QSP value, which is like a solubility product not at equilibrium, it's any point in time, to the known KSP. And I went to the back of the textbook to find out what the KSP value is of K2P2Cl6. So in this case, we just have to find the QSP, which is the same compound as finding a regular KSP, and then we just compare the two numbers. Now, they already gave us what the two ions are, so they made this a little bit easier for us. So let's just start writing the balanced equation. So we have K2, P2, P2, PT, Cl6, that's a solid. This is going to come to equilibrium. We're talking about K values. And here are the two um, ions. So K plus, plus PT, Cl6, that's a 2 minus. So we have, um, this is going to be aqueous because it's a charge. This is going to be aqueous. I'm looking to see if I have to balance this. I do. I have two potassiums, so I need to put a 2 here. And now I'm good. So I'm going to throw this on over to this side. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out how much we have of each. So they told us that for all the potassium, I have 0.01 molarity. Keep in mind that even though you see a 2 here, you do not multiply this by 2. Whatever they tell you you got, that's what you have. So for all the potassium, I have 0.010 molarity and also for the PTCl6. Okay. Now I'm going to use my KSP equation, or actually the QSP equation, to find out what the QSP is, right? So let's go for it. QSP is just going to be equal to the two products. So I have potassium K plus times PT Cl6 to minus. And now I need to raise the potassium to the second power because there was a two in the front, right? Keep in mind that you don't have to raise uh, the PTCL6 because there was only one here, right? So you can raise this to the first, but you don't have to. Okay, this number was 0 0.01, and so was this number, 0 0.01. So let's go for it. QSP equals 0 0.01, and that's squared. So I'm going to square that and then times it by 0 0.01. I'm going to plug this all into the calculator of one shot, and let's see if your answer matches mine. So let's see, where are we at in our equilibrium journey? 0 0.01 squared times 0 0.01, and I get 1.0 times 10 to the negative sixth. Okay, now all we have to do, and I'm just going to move this over a little bit, all we have to do is just take that QSP value, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 6, and compare it with the KSP value. And that's the one we had to look, 7.48 times 10 to the negative 6. Now, it could be easy because all we would have to do is look at those exponents. If the exponents are different, then we could just gauge which one is greater or, you know, smaller by just looking at the exponents. But here, since the exponents are the same, you look at the actual values. So I have 1.0 versus 7.48. 7.48 is greater than 1.0. So therefore, the QSP would be less than the KSP, or the KSP would be greater than the QSP. So in order to precipitate or have a solid remaining in solution, that QSP always has to be greater than the KSP. But if it didn't make it, if it's less than the KSP, you're still unsaturated. You could add more concentration, you know, and maybe you still wouldn't see a precipitation. But at this point, since it's not equal to or not 
greater than, no precipitate will form. So no precipitate. Precip, am I spelling this right? Precip, I have no idea. Precipit, oh boy. I think that's right. <laughs> if it's not, oh well. It's not English. Anyway. Okay. So there you go, guys. I really hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I will be talking to you in later lessons. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.